Global share markets are on a great run at present. The S&P 500, after bottoming out in early March of this year, has gained 61% since that time. It made further gains overnight. Markets were boosted by the G20 meeting where finance ministers have announced that they will keep stimulus packages in place for some time yet. This will help to strengthen the global economic recovery. Markets were further boosted by further takeover activity. However, Kraft Foods' takeover of British company Cadbury has been rejected. Their $16 billion US dollar offer has been deemed not enough by Cadbury. They will have to go even higher. In the currency markets, the New Zealand dollar has ramped up over the past few days, mainly due to the Fonterra payout increase, and it is trading over 74 cents against the US dollar on Tuesday morning. Up until Thursday of last week, the New Zealand dollar had a fairly stable few days. However, it finished the week in a volatile environment. First off, the cab rank was the unemployment data. This was weaker than market expectations, with unemployment reaching 6.5%. In addition to this, the Reserve Bank Governor was out talking last week trying to dampen down market expectations of an official cash rate increase. This meant that the New Zealand dollar did weaken off towards the end of last week. Over the first few days of this week, it has started increasing. We still see a lot of pressure on the New Zealand dollar to go higher, even going over 80 cents against the US dollar. This is mainly because of weakness in the US economy. Many people are feeling a little bit bad about the US currency at the present time and investors are worried about the strength of it over a good period of time as the reserve currency. This will mean that most currencies will appreciate against the US dollar, including our own. This will put pressure on export returns, including agricultural returns here in New Zealand. The increase for the dollar on Monday mainly came as a result of surprise from markets of the increase in the Fonterra payout. This strong increase in payout is a direct reflection of the increases in commodity prices we have been seeing recently. It also indicates that Fonterra have been able to lock in some fairly favourable contracts for delivery down the track. In other positive news for the dairy industry has been the news out of the US and the EU that subsidies are decreasing. Price points from the US have been lowered while subsidies altogether have been decreased in the EU. This is definitely positive news for the dairy industry and reflects the price increases from all around the world. The fundamentals of the dairy industry are currently looking good over the short term but also looking good for payout over the medium term at these present times.